hey guys welcome back to my channel and so in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the black opal true color foundation stick and if you guys have been following on my youtube journey so far then you guys know that i love a good foundation stick so i'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face as you guys see here um, I love to moisturize my face before applying a bunch of makeup on top of it because it helps to protect your pores and it just makes the application of the makeup look so much better. So yes, today I'm going to be reviewing the Black Opal True Color Foundation Stick. I ne did not know that Black Opal had foundation sticks. I actually came across it the other day when I was in Ulta and I seen it and decided to buy it and thought that it would be a good review for my first video back on YouTube. So. Here I am going and not going ahead and applying it onto my face. I'm not putting too much on. I really don't like full coverage. I'm more of a medium light medium coverage as far as foundation goes because you're going to be putting so many other products on top of the foundation anyways. So I found that if you put moderate amounts of foundation on it still looks as good. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just blending it in with the Kabuki brush that I found by Real Techniques as well. And I think I picked this up at my local Target. Once I'm done blending in with foundation, I'm going to go ahead and take the... Um, this is the Tone Rich Caramel, I believe. And so I'm going to use Rich Caramel to conceal with. Um, I'm using the Rich Caramel Foundation Stick to conceal with. And as you guys can see, this is how I apply my concealer when I'm concealing. And it, I, and it goes a long way a little bit. But and as you guys can see here, I put a little bit too much on. Um, so... Uh, as you'll see when I'm blending I had to blend up towards my forehead a little bit but it is a flawless blend I mean I absolutely love the way that this product turns out everything looks flawless and smooth and it blends in so cohesively together I absolutely love this product um, I like the silkiness of it the dewy effect um, I just really really love it but I'm going to go ahead and finish blending out and then I'm going to get into contouring next. So yeah, let me go ahead and finish blending and then we'll get into the contouring after this. And this is the part where I said, you know, I have to start blending up. As you guys can see, I'm like blending the concealer up because the product, it is creamy and it is thick, but at the same time like i said a little goes a long way so i feel like i put way too much on and i was running out of places to blend it because i didn't want it to be so thick um so i kept blending it out as you guys can see me going up towards my forehead with the concealer zone um so yeah be mindful of that when you guys are concealing you do not need so much of it a little bit really does go a long way with this product so now I'm going to go in with the Tone Mocha. Um, this is the Mocha Foundation Stick. And I'm going to apply it on my hairline, my cheekbone, and my jawline. And then I also put a couple dots on, around my chin area. I like the way it looks when I'm blending it out. It just adds a little bit more color. So I like to put it here by my chin as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take a contouring brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of contour to my nose this is the way that I like to contour my nose everyone is different to me I like to have that snatched look and then I'm gonna go back in with that kabuki brush and blend everything together and this is what I mean when I said everything just blends together perfectly and cohesively and interchangeably it's just I love the way that everything blended together and really I feel like I should have stopped here because I do go in later on and add a little bit more color a little bit more contour and as I'm editing the video I see that it was just flawless like this I should have left it like this but it's a great buildable product so if you feel like you need more you can add more um, you can't take away so I definitely recommend that you start light and then if you feel like you need more just build up on what you already have um, it's just a flawless look like I said with this product review I absolutely love this product everything blends together blends amazing and if you guys know me 
and you've been following me on my journey, you know that I will use whatever I feel like I can get my hands on to contour and conceal. So in this case, in this review, I am using foundation sticks to do my entire face. Like I'm using it to do my foundation. I'm using it for my contouring and my concealing. That's just what works for me. I mean, if you guys feel like you need to buy an actual concealer to conceal to each his own. Me, I am very flexible and i like to you know test out new things and this is works it works for me so i like the way it looks i probably should have stopped here but i'm gonna go in and add some more for a little bit more color um as you guys will see here in the next few steps Once I'm done here, next I'm going to go in with some Laura Mercier and I'm going to set the areas that I concealed. And then I also bought a bronzer palette by Juvia's. Um, and I'm going to use that palette, the bronzer palette, to set the places that I contoured. Um, when you're putting cream on your face, you want to set it so you don't really be too oily throughout the day. So as you guys are going to see here, I'm just taking that Laura Mercier setting powder and if you have air spun powder use it air spun is just as good um, if I didn't have this Laura Mercier I will be using air spun powder but that pretty much wraps up the rest of this video so overall I absolutely love this product I give it a huge thumbs up and if you guys want to buy it and buy this product or you're looking for a product that you want to use for a full face routine doing foundation concealer and contouring i definitely recommend you go and pick up this black opal true colors foundation stick at your local ulta thanks again for the support the continued support and if you like this video make sure you guys give me a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.